Hey everybody, uh, and welcome to the first official installment of one of the new series I mentioned recently that I was going to do. This one called uh, Recent Viewing. At least I think that'll be a, a, you know, a decent enough title for it. It's just going to be what I call what I sit, when I sit down and do these. What I, I I used to lump them in with my vlogs, but just basically me talking about a movie that I watched and uh, not. It's not a review because uh, I just don't really feel like I'm qualified to review movies, but uh, I do want to talk about them and give my thoughts and impressions and uh, and now give it its own series. So anyway, as I was saying, this will be the first officially uh, covered movie for this new series, and then I'll go through and retitle the vlogs that were about other movies I watched. And the movie that I watched uh, was a comedy movie called The Other Woman. It came out earlier this year or maybe last year. I don't remember exactly. Uh, but I was always interested in it. And I'm going to go ahead and come right on out and say pretty much exactly why I wanted to see the movie. Uh, or at least the, the, uh, the final straw, the impetus for me saying, yeah, I'll spend some voodoo credits on this movie had a lot to do with a, a certain uh, lady by the name of Kate Upton. It's the fact that she was in this movie and in the advertising they were they were very straightforward with showing her running around on the beach in a bikini. You know, not like she's known for that or anything. But uh, in the end, what I got was a pretty... I hate to use this word. This is the word I used on Facebook when I put up my little blurb about it. But the movie was cute. Okay, you know, I'm a 40-year-old guy who's calling basically a, a... I guess this would be more of a comedy, not really a romantic comedy. It had its little twinges, but it was mostly just a, a comedy, kind of a, uh, kind of a female empowerment comedy, I guess you could say. But it was, it was just cute. It was like it had a nice story. The characters were you know pretty well rounded um, and it had some funny moments I was really surprised I figured I was gonna get a chuckle here and there and I had there were just times when I was like cracking up so I really appreciate that you know right now for me and this is this is going into personal stuff here for a moment but you know my issues with depression and social anxiety disorder and just everything right now that I'm dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis, basis, one of my favorite things to do is to laugh, is to just cut free, you know, cut loose for a second and just crack up over something. It's why I love the people on YouTube that I watch all the time. They make me laugh, they make me smile, uh, they make me think about things. And while this movie maybe didn't give me a whole bunch of, like, you know, uh, breakthrough moments in, in thinking about life and perspective and all that kind of thing. It, it made me laugh and that was important. Um, anyway, I guess a little bit about the movie. Uh, it kind of it stars Cameron Diaz, who I guess I'll, I'll take a moment to talk about her. Uh, Cameron Diaz is somebody, you know, that I remember from back when she kind of first broke out in the movies when she was in The Mask and and especially my favorite role that she's ever done, which was uh, There's Something About Mary. And I felt a little nostalgic about, you know, those days, you know, 15-ish years ago or whatever. And I'm not trying to be Mr. Judgmental, although I've already shown myself to be somewhat shallow when I mentioned Kate Upton as being kind of a, a reason for me to want to sit down and watch this movie. But... There was a time when Cameron Diaz was pretty attractive in my mind, and now there's a time when I think she's starting to look older. It's horrible because she's, like, around my age, <coughs> which actually I kind of want to know exactly how old she is, so I'm going to look it up. And I guess if I would spell it right, that would help. Yeah, she's 42, so she's two years older than me. Um, 
and you know I'm no looker and I certainly don't look like I did 20 years ago not that that makes much of a difference I didn't look like much of anything back then either but at least Cameron Diaz had you know her youthful beauty at the time now and I'm not trying to say that she's ugly I'm just saying that unfortunately she looks like somebody whose business you know whose career is kind of centered around this and she looks like she's had a little bit of work done because she's trying to stretch that out a little bit I am bothered a little bit by that in Hollywood and it's male or female doesn't matter which if you go to the doctor if you go to the Botox if you go to the plastic surgery too often it starts to look really obvious that's all I'm saying about that I think Cameron is starting to look a little obvious like she's trying to keep that youth for longer than you know it gets to stay around for but the best things in this movie for her were that she I, I don't know I think the Cameron Diaz is a pretty respectful actress and I thought she did a really good job in this one um, I know I liked her she was just like the anchor of, of the movie you know everything kind of centered or revolved around her but that kind of allowed the people around her to shine in their own way first of all going back to Kate Upton just expecting her to kind of basically be a piece of eye candy but she held her own very very well she didn't have a bazillion lines but she never once sounded like she was fumbling through the darkness you know trying to read off a cue card or something like that she held her own well the surprise for me would be Leslie Mann who and I kinda of got off the, the track of, of what the movie was about okay Cameron Diaz is this lawyer and she's having this relationship with this guy and it's going really really well and then he gives an excuse and cuts out of meeting her dad and she thinks that it sounds kind of fishy but she ends up going to visit him at his home and that's when she discovers that he's married and Leslie Mann plays the wife and she reminded me of an older Isla Fisher even down to the like whole red-headed uh, aesthetic but it, what was funny was she just she was kind of goofy and she played the the role of like the distraught and even on the verge of a mental breakdown housewife kind of thing really really well she was actually in my opinion probably the powerhouse of the movie uh, of which, you know, if it wasn't for Kate and Cameron, it probably wouldn't be so pronounced. But I, I don't know. I was really impressed by her. I, I'm, I can't think of anything else I've seen her in. But now I'll watch for her more in movies. I'll be, uh, I'll be willing to take the plunge on some other m movies with Leslie Mann in her. I think I've seen something else that she's been in, and I'm just blanking on it at the moment. That's the perks of older age but anyway they the three of them like by chance like I said they all eventually meet and form a friendship I don't want to like step through step by step through this movie and give away every little thing but the three of them kind of have this little triumvirate or they're sort of together and on the same page and they know what they have to do to take care of this guy and it's like I said it yields funny results it's I don't know maybe in the end it was a little predictable but uh, I still enjoyed it I, I don't know I like I said it was cute it was funny uh, I enjoyed the performances and uh, I was not disappointed in, in one way shape or another so and that's always a good thing so anyway that uh, that's that the other woman, I, I guess I would I would recommend it. It's not I, I I I'm guessing it was probably PG-13. I don't remember if there was an F bomb in it or not. There's few instances of them saying shit, um, but it's overall it's not too over the top. It's not too raunchy. There's I mean there's no nudity in it. There's no uh, like I said major language, and. Uh, it had an interesting cast. Nicki Minaj was in it, of, of all people, playing Cameron Diaz's, uh, like, secretary. 
that was just a surprise to me. And she did all right for what she was in, in the movie for. So, I don't know. You know, you want to laugh at something. I, I guess I would say if, if it was cheap enough, uh, rent it, check it out. Uh, I was just pleasantly surprised. So, anyway, that's, that's that. And I'm kind of in a hurry now to go and sit down and watch the next movie because... I had two movies that are getting ready to expire, and there won't be enough time for me to come and watch the second one after work tomorrow, so I have to watch it tonight. When I finish with that, then I'll sit down and do another one of these, uh, and then whenever these are uploaded, um, there'll be a couple of these in a row. So, that's that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.